Hey guys, Abs here. I'm going to be taking you through a couple of things today. Firstly, we've had an update to the PR Traffic Booster and we've also had an update to the PR Harvester. And finally, um, Google have released a PageRank update as well. Um, so we're going to be looking at our PageRank, um, well, we're going to be looking at our Tumblr blogs and seeing exactly what kind of results we've had. I've actually had some really cool results, guys, uh, which I'm going to be showing you later um, and we can go through them. Um, firstly, we've increased the number of threads so we can actually work with up to 20 threads now. Um, so I'll show you this in action. Um, let me enable all my groups. Um, I'll enable all my groups. I've actually got proxies assigned to each and every single one of my groups, guys. Um, and in some of my groups, I have up to uh, two accounts. In some of them, I have up to, oh, there's one account there. In other ones, I have two accounts. And in some of them, I have up to three accounts. Um, so um, what we'll do is click on start and we'll actually test these accounts just to make sure that they're live. Uh, so check account. Um, and I'll click on start and you'll actually see this work with up to 20 threads now. Um, okay, so while this is actually working, um, I'll talk about the other updates that we've had or the other things that we've had going on with the PR Traffic Booster. Uh, we've added the ability to actually um, add your own theme. So if you wanna add your own theme now, um, you can add your own custom theme um, with the PR Traffic Booster. And the, and the way you do that, you should actually click on Customize Theme and from there you'll see a drop down. Okay, so um, this is actually working with 20 threads, it's doing 20 accounts at a time, guys. So as you can see, uh, we've got a number of accounts that we're actually testing, um, and these are all my accounts, um, and I keep them nice and healthy, um, and I don't do anything special to keep them healthy, guys. I just keep proxies assigned to them, and as you see, I have like three, two, one accounts per proxy, um, really depending on what account it is and how I've actually set it up. Um, but there you go, it's gonna stop, it's gonna complete them, it's gonna carry on and, and, and do the remaining accounts. Um, so as you can see, we've got a, a little over 40 accounts. Um, and if we have a look at my accounts here, we've actually got 53 Tumblr accounts in total that we're working with here, uh, which is fantastic. Um, so once this is complete, I'll show you where we can add our HTML for our Tumblr themes. Um, so give it a couple of seconds um, and I'll also show you the updates that we've had to the PR Harvester. Okay, so this looks like we're more or less done and fantastic. And obviously when you're checking your accounts, guys, it doesn't just check your accounts, it actually pulls back your statistics as well for your groups. Um, so as you can see, uh, when I said, um, well, as you can see, I've actually got a number of new groups um, that I've recently created. Um, okay, this one's only got two accounts in there. Uh, the, the other ones, I've actually got three accounts in each. Um, so they're new groups that I've recently created. That's why you've got less activity on them. Um, but yes, it pulls back everything on there as well. So anyway, to add your Tumblr theme, you go to settings, um, you go to your edit group or whatever, and then you scroll all the way over to the right hand side um, and you've got an area to add your custom theme. Um, obviously, your theme is going to be fairly large, guys. Um, it isn't a good idea to copy and paste it in here or write it in here. Uh, you will really be pointing over to your file um, and importing that theme. Um, clicking save and then all you need to do guys um, is click on enable script um, and okay you, you don't even need to have script enabled all you need to do is click on customize account and then click on theme and then click on start and that will actually go and add a custom theme to your Tumblr account. Now I haven't tried this without adding anything on there so just be wary that the system doesn't actually add an empty um, theme um, if you haven't entered anything in there. Now I doubt Tumblr will accept an empty theme anyway, um, but I'm not willing to risk it and try it myself. Okay, so um, that's about it with the updates on the PR Traffic Booster guys. Obviously it's working much faster now. Um, oh yeah, we had we obviously addressed a few issues. Uh, we had some issues with PNG updates when we're updating or when we're making blog posts with PNG images. Um, well, what you can do, with the best thing you can do, guys, um, is go to the PR Traffic Booster folder, go to Release Notes, and we'll actually note them down here. We also had a little bug on the number of videos that you want to upload. Now, that's been rectified. Um, oh, yeah, one more update as well. We can now save our proxies um, and our groups as well. So what I'll do now is actually click on Export Groups Accounts. And let me just make sure I've got none of these open. Okay, I have got them open. I'm gonna click on Close. Um, I'm going to leave that one open. I'm going to click on close on that one. Okay, so... Okay, let me click out of that. Okay, so what I've done is just click on export group accounts at the top there and it's going to choose an automatic 
um, name. So if you're always keeping it up to date, guys, you can keep it exactly the same name and really let the system overwrite. Um, so I'm gonna leave it the same name. So I'm gonna overwrite my last file. And now it's gonna prompt you to straight away save another file called group proxy. And uh, you can save that over as well. Now I'll show you what they look like now. Um, the very first file, group accounts, looks exactly the same. It shows you your, your group name, your email, your password, your username, and your Tumblr blog as well. Um, and But your group proxy is the new feature, guys. Now, that shows you your group name, what proxy was assigned to that group, sorry, the server of the proxy and the port of the proxy as well. And it tells you the status as well. So uh, don't really worry about the status because the last time you might have checked, it might have been failed and then it was working as well. Um, but as you can see, mine are all successful. So I've got 25 groups in total that I work with and um, you can actually see that represented here as well. So I work with 25 groups and uh, I've got 20, I work with 25 different proxies as well, um, but I work with different proxies, 25 different proxies. And at the same time, guys, um, we I work with up to um, 53, well, I've got up to 53 Tumblr blogs that this one account manages, and it can manage so much more. Um, you, just need, you just need the time to actually uh, find, to actually set them up now. Um, and um, other than that, guys, um, you know, if you do have a VA, then you can really, start building a, a you know super hot multi high PR blog network and I'm going to show you why now so anyway here's my page rank check that I've done on my blogs guys I'm not going to show you the URLs but I've got two page rank fours um, I've got let's have a look um, I've got 10 page rank threes I've got 16 page rank um, twos um, and I've got like uh, eight page rank ones, um, and then from 40 to 54, which is like 14, um, 14 page rank zeros. And obviously, you noted and, and you saw down here yourself as well, guys. Um, I've actually got new groups down here, three new, that's nine accounts here. So look, we've got three here. Sorry, that's eight accounts, isn't it? Because there was two and one, three here. Um, and two here. These are fairly new accounts here, guys. Um, so obviously they haven't been able to get the page rank on them um, and a number of these. And, and a number of the new ones as well, guys, um, has actually got a page rank full, which is fantastic. Now, um, I'm not gonna sit here and verify these accounts with you. I don't want them to get banned. I don't want them to get looked at. Um, so if you've been following the guides, guys, you're gonna have results like this as well. But I really hope um, you have taken this uh, to the level that I've taken it, if not to a higher level, and you've really, you know, got a list of a number of blogs now uh, that you've created and you've been increasing the PR. Um, and if you have, then fantastic, you're gonna have results like this. Now, let me just show you a quick update of the PR Harvester. I've got the PR Harvester in my PR Traffic Booster folder, so I'm gonna quickly open it up. And you can actually have a look at the release notes as well, guys. Guys, it tells you there as well, we can harvest post URLs from, from blog URL as well. I'm gonna give you some examples here as well, show you how this works. Um, so now you just click on here, import your URLs, or your blogs, or uh, your sorry, your blog URLs, or your post URLs, or whatever it is that you're actually gonna be checking on here to work with. Um, so what you can do now is you can harvest post URL from blog. Now what that means is, um, you put in a blog URL, so say for example your blog URL was xyz.tumblr.com um, and you wanted to harvest every single post URL for that blog, then what you do is actually enter that, you'll enter your list of blog URLs guys um, and then just tell the software how many pages up to do you want to scrape. And obviously if you want to scrape like hundreds and hundreds of pages, uh, then just enter them down here and the software will go ahead and scrape every single post um, that's noted on them on that blog. Um, you can also harvest blog URL from the post URL. Now what this means, I'm gonna reword this guys, so I, I do apologize for the way it's actually worded. Um, so what this means is you're actually harvesting um, blog URLs um, that have liked or reblogged on a certain post. So basically you're harvesting the blog URL from a post URL. Um, so you're gonna be importing post URLs here um, and anyone that's liked that post or anyone that's reblogged that post, you're going to be scraping them blogs. And then later you can actually use them to go and follow or to even go and scrape every single post of theirs as well. Okay, and um, the NSFW, so not safe for work um, kind of tags and posts, um, you're not actually able to scrape through the PR Harvester. Well, you wasn't previously um, able to do this um, because you have to be logged in 
in Tumblr. Um, so now you can actually enter your Tumblr email address and Tumblr password. Um, it might be a good idea to have or create a Tumblr account just for using for this if you're going to be using this and then just check this checkbox that you're going to be logging into Tumblr. So the software will log into Tumblr first before it actually performs the action and scrapes uh, your tags and your posts and, and, and whatever you want to do. Okay, fantastic. So that's been done, guys. Um, again, guys, a quick prompt. Check your page rank. I'm really hoping you've got some really good results with your with your page rank. I certainly have. I'm very happy. Um, and I know a number of users are very happy as well um, who are using it to monetize with Tumblr. Um, I've spoken to a number of users that are earning 90 bucks a day, that are earning 50 bucks a day. Um, and uh, it's fantastic. Um, I'm really loving it, obviously. And uh, keep a lookout for our email this week. Uh, we've got some really cool things coming up and coming down your way. Thank you very much and see you soon.